So, the NASCAR Cup Series raced at Bristol this round of 16 call-off race, the NASCAR race at Bristol Motor Speedway, and we have a surprise winner. Chris Buescher gets his second career win and breaking a 222 race winless streak, RFK Racing wins at Bristol. Let's get started with this. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of In the NASCAR. Today will be the today will I'll be doing the doing the um Bass Pro Shops Night Race race review and and I got to say if this race was really darn good. Not as good as last year's in my opinion, but it was really good. It was really solid. So, yeah, I would just like to say congratulations to Chris Busher. He deserves it. He deserves it and yeah, I think he basically led the most laps in that race. So, Dominant, dominant by Chris Busher. Happy for Chris Busher. So, yeah, he has a very fast RFK racing. Pretty much RFK racing was almost perfect tonight. Almost perfect on Saturday night. Was almost perfect. But Brad Keselowski, while leading, he had a tire down. And, well, Chris Busher, he done it. So, congratulations to Chris Busher and that team. I'm, I really, I was really glad, glad Chris Busher won over Brad because if Brad won, then. Oh boy, guys, because you know, I do not like Brad at all, so, yeah, so, so yeah, I'm happy for Chris Buescher, so, so yeah, along with this, this was actually the round of 16 cutoff race, and the four drivers have been eliminated are Tyler Reddick, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, and Kevin Harvick, who was in a must-win situation heading into this race, and didn't win so yeah um yeah so three of my four three of the four drivers i had being eliminated in this round advanced which oh my gosh was extremely surprising i had kyle bush eliminating the round of 12 tyler Reddick and kevin harvick both eliminated in the round of eight but i never expected them to be eliminated this early like kyle bush had two blown motors in three races two blown engines it's shocking. It's really shocking. Like, like literally. Kyle Busch eliminated in the first round. Now the only Toyotas are left for the drivers' championship or for the for the playoffs are my driver Denny Hamlin and Christopher Bell. That's it. And they're practically both tied right now in points. So, yeah. And I had Denny. Unfortunately, I have Denny Hamlin being eliminated in the round of um. In this round, the round of 12, and this is, I'm doing my round of 12 predictions real quick, so, yeah. So, I think the drivers will be eliminated are Suarez, Briscoe, um, Cindric is a tough one. I know Suarez and Briscoe, I don't think those two will advance. Same with Hamlin, I know, I don't think he's going to be advancing either, but I don't know about the last one, guys. I really do not know about the last one. I will just have to wait and see. I was going to go with Austin Cindric, but due to, how, due to the tracks that Cindric's good at, if, I'll be so surprised if Cindric makes it to the round of eight. We'll wait. We'll have to wait and see. But my pick for Texas is Ross Chastain. He's my pick for hit for her. He's my pick for Texas. So now let's get down to the race itself. So on the pole was Eric Almarola. Uh, a lot of drivers in this race had issues. Fords had like what? How? Fords have like tire issues. Um, Ryan Blaney he had some problems. Um, with probably with the suspension and stuff, that's why his car was sparking in the back. And literally, the stages have been swept by RFK Racing, I believe. So, yeah. Okay, so I was one. Brad Keselowski won stage one. Christopher Bell, he actually won stage two. So I just want to make that clear. Blaney had flat tires. Some of these drivers had issues. Like Toyota has had power steering. Bubba Wallace, I know he had some. Ty Gibbs. Martin Truex Jr. actually flipped off the motor. That was pretty hilarious. So, yeah. Uh, just Martin Truex Jr. Just two engine failures in a 
two engine failures in, in three races. Just, what is going on with Toyotas? Like, I mean, Danny Hamlin, he also had a flat tire, but good thing he was able to finish ninth, which is ironically the same situation to what happened last year. Remember last year's Bristol race, Hamlin had a flat tire and was able to finish ninth. Exactly what happened tonight. Exactly. So, yeah, tire issues were, were tires were, you know, were just really key. And, um, and there was PJ1 lay down on the track. It was on Thursday when the Arca race started, but it weared off and now the outside was the preferred line. So, yeah. And, so, yeah. Um, and then Kyle Busch got blown motor, which I'm surprised. Like, I thought Kyle Busch was going to make it to the round of 12, and apparently not. And, so, yeah, and I'm, and I expected Denny Hamlin to make it past his first round with no problems, and he didn't. So, his finishes were all inside the top 10. Thank the Lord. And I think Hamlin's bad luck is starting to turn around this season. Well, he still has bad luck this year with that, um, but bad luck in the regular season. But I think when it comes to playoff time, Hamlin's luck is just turning around ever since the playoffs began. With two second place finishes and a ninth, which is really good. Which is comfortable for him to make it to the, to the next round. To the round of 12. So, yeah. As a Hamlin fan, I am extremely happy. But he and Bell are the only ones left for Toyota. Which is my favorite manufacturer, so yeah, yeah. So many drivers had problem problems, like Eric Jones, um, um, Denny Hamlin had some had tire problems. So much, some other drivers do, but we have drivers like um, Harrison Burton he had an issue one time in the race. Um, the, I think you know, Rick Wearcar did. Eric, I know Eric Jones did as well. Just literally a whole bunch of chaos, like literally, and um. So, literally four of the six Toyotas had issues, and boy. So, Kyle Busch fans, I have to say this to you. Do you know, do you finally know me? Do you finally understand how I feel when Denny Hamlin has some bad luck? Like, literally, early in the season, didn't get a top 10 until Richmond when he won. And then Martinsville was freaking terrible. And then Bristol... Dirt didn't take out Kalaj. That was a mechanical problem. Then Talega ran out of gas. Dover just got Rick Ward. He got freaking Rick Ward. And his tire came off. So, yeah. So, y'all finally now understand what I, have, what I have been going through earlier in the season? I'm just saying. So. So, yeah. Um. I just gotta say, man, what a, what a great race. It was a great race overall. And Christopher Bell, we had some drivers that were really good, like Christopher Bell, Brad Keselowski, um, Chase Elliott, he was my pick to win this race. Finished second. So, yeah, just one spot away from winning, but Elliott was my pick to win, so. Yeah, and then Ross Chastain, again, my pick to win next week. So, I mean, I do expect Toyota to run good there, how they, I mean, Texas is the only chance I see with Toyota winning. Maybe Talladega, but the Roval, it's not going to happen. Then stage three, and then I think at the start of stage three, we had this big crash with collecting Suarez. Suarez had a terrible handling race car all night long, but, and then he got in the stand house, and basically the big one of Bristol happened. So, yeah. I, I was, I was, I am extremely surprised Suarez made it past his first round. Like, I thought he wasn't able to, but he did. Briscoe, I mean, Briscoe, I, I predicted him to make it past his first round all right, so, yeah. So, so I had, so I had Bowman, so I had Bowman, Suarez, Cendric, and Dylan out. I only had one prediction right, being a limited round 16, that was Austin Dylan. So, yeah, um, so it's gonna be very difficult, it's gonna be very unpredictable in the next round, but yeah, and then... Christopher Bell had a good good race car, like one of the dominant ones. And then, like Brad Keselowski, leading and blowing the tire. That gave the advantage to Chris Buescher. He holed off three hundred cars and just drove away, and luck was on his side. And, and great things are going to happen for RFK. So, great job, Chris Buescher. You deserved it. You've been one of the fastest cars all night. I'm happy for you, man. Go celebrate. 
But man, this gets this ties the record for the most wins in a single season since 2001 with 19 different winners. And with the tracks coming up, like Talladega, the Roll Bowl, we could get past 20, maybe even 20 with different winners. Like, this season's been full of unpredictability. Like, literally, this describes the season. Unpredictable. Like, literally. Like, there's a reason why I didn't make a winning predictions video from, from this season. It's because how unpredictable this next-gen car is. It's just, it's just unpredictability is going to happen, and Chris Buescher just did it. Three drivers who are non-playoff contenders swept the round of 16 clean. So, yeah, and boy, I gotta say, this has, season's been very wild, and so, yeah, and then obviously we got the next few races, which, which include Texas, Talladega, which there's a slight, maybe a slight chance I might go to that track. I might just cross your fingers. I might go again, but we'll see, because my birthday's literally in, like, what, 11 days from now, which is ironically Denny Hamlin's number. So, yeah, and then the Charlotte Roval, which Toyotas are going to be, Toyotas are, Toyotas are going to are gonna suck there, so, yeah. And I realized, now, this, I think this is Kyle Busch's worst year with Joe Gibbs. Well, I mean, he got eliminated in the round of 12 in 2020. Didn't win until Texas. So, I mean, yeah. But congratulations to Chris Buescher, RFK Racing. Go celebrate. The racing's been really good. We have some bumping, banging action. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the race results. And the playoff grid. And here are the results from Bristol. Chris Buescher finished first. Elliott second. Byron third. Bell fourth. Larson fifth. Chastain sixth. AJ Allmendinger. He was able to finish 7th, he won the regular season championship in the Xfinity Series, Cole Custer 8th, my driver Denny Hamill 9th, and running out of the top 10 is Kevin Harvick. Here is the rest of the results. Rod Kosowski followed back to finish 13th after blowing, blowing a tire, tire while leading. 20th was Austin Sindrick, and boy we had so many problems of issues. Ty Dillon had problems today, problems, same with Almirola. Alex Bowman also got caught in an accident. And Kyle Busch, you can see him right there, he's all the way back in 34th. Playoffs, Andrew right now currently, Chase Elliott is plus 31, Joey the Camel plus 16, Ross Chastain plus 11, Kyle Larson is plus 10, Byron is plus 6, Denny Hamlin is plus 4, Christopher Bell is only plus 4, and here are the drivers who are below the cup, or, and Blaney is also plus 4, so it's a three-way tie between Hamlin, Christopher Bell, and Ryan Blaney. Here are the drivers who are below the cut line. We have Chase Briscoe minus four, Alex Bowman minus six, Daniel Suarez minus minus six, and Austin Cedric minus seven. So yeah, guys. In conclusion, this Bristol race was good, and RFK Racing did it. They won Bristol, so I'm happy for them. Happy for their team. Um, so really great, great win for them. Uh, the race was good. The race was good. It was not as exciting as last year's. But however, this year's was was real. This year's Bristol Night Race was really good. It was really good. And now, boy, it was last year. I was remember, remember I was at Talladega watching the Bristol race last year with the Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott feud. Oh boy! But I have a feeling some of these some drivers might get back Ross Chastain in this in this round because of the roll. Remember what we saw with Harvick and Elliott last year? Yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Now, it's time for me to rate this race. This race has been really good. It's really good. So, yeah. I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10 for this one. It ain't one of the most exciting Bristol races I've, I've watched. But, it's not not like not like last year's. Last year's was was fun. But, last year was really exciting. Probably like a, almost a 10 out of 10 perfect race. But, this one was 7 out of 10. I mean... Yeah, short tracks we've seen for short for the um car next gen cars have been all right, been not been the greatest, but yeah, just part of it I guess. So, so yeah, guys, um, what do you guys think about this race? Let me know in the comments. And Chris Busher wins. Anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.